Hey guys, wanted to run you through WhiteSpark and do a live demonstration for you so that way you got a video that you can refer to and see exactly what steps we take and what we discussed in SEO Rockstars in order to start dominating the Google Map Pack. So what we focused on was in Sacramento was a dentist and dentist Sacramento's, but it'll give us an idea who's coming up in the top positions in the Map Pack. You, you ideally want to use the three or four that come up first so that way we get a good list of citations that we can build out and start ranking our websites. I just used two for this example. There's Access Dental and the Thomas Dental. And what you're going to do is you want to go to WhiteSpark. In WhiteSpark you'll log in. Once logged in you're going to add in the, the business information. Go to Business Search, Sacramento, California. The phone number of the business on the citations that we're seeing in Google. The business name and then you get a search. What's going to happen is going to spit out listings for you. So we got Access Dental and the Thomas Dental. What you're going to do next is you want to take a look and see that there's 172 and 157. That means they probably might have someone doing some SEO form that's building all these out because this is a lot of work and mostly business owners who aren't aware will have a lot less citations built than someone who's trying to get them up in that Mac pack. So that means there's going to be some competition around here. What we'll do next, we're going to view sources and we're going to export to CSV. So now we got a list. What we want to do, we'll call this, remember who it was, it was that was Access Dental. So then we name our workbook tab Access Dental. Alright, create another tab. We're going to name that Anatomist Dental. Alright, so let's export new sources, export to CSV, open it up, take this, put it in our other workbook where we're aggregating our data. So now we got two data sources. Alright, now what we want to do is create a list of unique citations. And what we'll do is we're going to copy everything from Access. We're going to copy everything from Nanamos. So that way they're all within the same worksheet. Then what we're going to do, we're going to get only the unique sources. So we'll go highlight everything, go to data, go to remove dupes. My data has headers. Unselect all, just do citation source. This is what we're left with. And what I want to do, I want to get an idea of what or how many there are. We've got 258 citations that we can build on. Now what we want to do next is, and since we don't have businesses, if we had a business, we'd run WhiteSpark for our own business. Right? So we call this our business. And then say we had sites on here, we'll want to then look up which of these we've already built. So that way we know what ones we're not going to have to worry about duplicating. Now that we got that, then after that we'll have a clean list. So what we want to do next is, what I like to do is two things. One, I like to sort it by domain authority. And this gives me an idea of where to start. I like to start with the higher domains first because that gives me a lot of authority that's going to go into the site. And then the second thing I like to do is I look, like to look for niche specific. So, one one dentist is news. Dentist.com. There we go. So here, this would be an area that I would look 
to add a citation. So that gives you an idea of the two things I, I look for. I start and I do the top, top ones here. And I usually do start off with doing it down to 90. Write it out. So I do um, type it out for you. So I start with DAs of 90 plus. Then second, I build out on the niche directories. And third, I build out the remaining. And that's pretty much it to use in Whitespark. Uh, I'll give you one more tip, which includes you want to have a worksheet set up that has a list like this. So that way it's really easy to copy and paste everything in, and it'll save you a lot of time. So what I do, I have the full address, then I break out the address. So I have address, city, state, zip, phone, the hours, the business email, which is different than the email I use to build out the citation, so that way the business owner does not get a bunch of emails from all these different listings and then all the social primary social accounts I have a short description of about 160 characters or less a long description of as many characters uh, you want to add in as much as you can um, but keep it authentic as something that a business owner would add in I have the tags so if it would be the dentist it would be emergency dental repair denture repair, tooth decay, cavity. The website, this is the exact website, so make sure you take note if it has www or if it's just the domain. The account email, this is this is actually very important and I'm going to go over it right now. Of You want to set up, I usually do a Gmail in which I build everything out on and what that does, it allows me to capture all the emails that come in for verification of the citations so that way I don't have to sit with the business owner and ask them to do it. The business email, then I have the hours, the time zone, I have the address and phone again, sometimes it's easier. And then I have the username and password that I use for creating all the different citation listing accounts. And this will help you save a lot of time in building out these. Hey, I want to show you one more way to use WhiteSpark that can be uh, really effective too. I just showed you a longer way to do it to go to each one and I find that can give me more citations to build. Um, but also another option is you could just go into the key phrase search, look for Sacramento, California, emergency dentist, run your search. We'll give it a minute and then we'll get our search results. letting us know that it runs and it gives 197 which was much less than that 258 but it also gives us the top three businesses that are ranking, gives us an idea of what the citations are at 36. It gives me an idea that I can go in there and push that down real quick. Um, and even though we got a little bit different results, I ran it on a different day. Could have been under a different proxy. And then we're just able to start building from there using the same techniques I showed you earlier. Oh, that. Give you some good information and good luck on building your citations.